Hey guys, so today I have this healthy back to school snack ideas for you guys, and this could also work as a lunch if you throw in maybe just a little bit of protein in there. Um, but I really, really love these ideas, and there's also one smoothie. If you guys have been caught up on my vlogs, you'll see that I drink this smoothie quite a bit, but I wanted to add it into this video, so let's go ahead and get started. So for the first snack idea, I have some guacamole deviled eggs and these are so delicious and it just calls for a few ingredients. So I have some hard boiled eggs, I actually have three. I'm also gonna use one fourth cup of cilantro, one avocado, a tablespoon of chives, finely chopped, and also a tablespoon of lime juice, some sea salt, and also red pepper flakes and chili powder for garnish. But I'm gonna go ahead and slice these eggs in half. And again, I'm just taking three. And then after that, I'm going to remove the yolks and place those in a bowl. So after I remove all the yolks and place those in a bowl, I'm going to slice my avocado in half. And in the beginning shot, I actually had two avocados. Didn't mean that, I'm just using one. But I'm gonna go ahead and cube my avocado. This is the way I like to do it just going vertical and horizontal. Then I like to squeeze out the bits inside the avocado, of course, into the bowl with the yolks and this is going to be creamy and delicious and awesome. So after that, I'm just going to add my cilantro and also my chives. And this is what it looks like now. I'm going to take just half of that lime, and this is an amazing squeezer. I totally suggest you get one of these. Uh, this isn't sponsored. I'm just a fan of lime and lemon squeezers. And then I'm just gonna add a dash of salt and also some crushed pepper just to kick it up a notch. And yeah, I'm just going to mix that all together with a fork, and this is so delicious. Definitely recommend a finger in the bowl now just to try it, but we're not finished yet. Next up, I'm just gonna take my eggs and stuff them with this filling, which is amazing. So now that I have my eggs filled, I want to garnish it with a little chili powder. And this makes it look even better and taste even better. It's so good. Okay, moving on to the next snack. This is a tasty little pesto salad and it is so good, so refreshing and amazing. And again, you only need a few things to make this. I'm going to be using some olive oil, pesto, which I actually uploaded a video on that earlier. So check out the description bar for that. Pine nuts, also tomatoes, fresh basil, cucumber, and salt and pepper. So to start, first off, I've grabbed a handful of these smaller tomatoes and I'm just gonna chop them however I want. Some of them I'm not even gonna chop because I like some of them whole in this salad, which is really, really tasty. Next up, I'm just gonna use half of this cucumber. And what I like to do is make some slices and then I'll cut those slices into fourths. So just making it nice and chunky. I like chunkier bites, bigger bites. All right, now I'm tearing up that fresh basil. And you can really just add the full leaves in there or you could tear them up however you want. So next up, I'm using some olive oil. I'm really just using just a splash of this. So not too much. And then I'm gonna grab my pine nuts and add those as well. And now for the pesto. This is actually a paleo pesto. And I, again, I made this earlier on my channel. So if you wanna see that video, it'll be linked down below in the description bar. But this is really simple and quick to make and it tastes so good and it really will transform the salad. So definitely check that out. And next up, a little salt and pepper and I'm gonna mix this all together and it'll be good to eat. All right, so on to the third snack, and this is the simplest one, and it'll take you like two seconds to make. So I just have one apple, almond butter, also some cinnamon and clove spices. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just take my red apple and slice it up. And then I'm going to add some of my seasonings, and you can make these slices however big or thin as you want, but I'm gonna add the cinnamon first, and then just a touch of clove because the clove will overpower the flavor like intensely, <laughs> like 
in a huge way. So just do a dash of the clove, which is really, really good. And then I just have a side of the almond butter. And that's it for this snack. Again, very simple, quick and easy to make. So on to the last snack, which is actually a drink, but it is very, very filling. This is actually a strawberry banana smoothie. And if you guys have been kept up with my vlogs, you know that I drink this all the time. So I have some Mexican vanilla. I also have some coconut milk, one banana and 11 strawberries because I like to have my strawberry banana smoothies taste more strawberry-y and less banana-y. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to cut the tops off of those strawberries and also any bits that are a little overdone. <laughs> These strawberries were actually getting a little old, so I had to cut out quite a few little bumps. Anyway, adding my banana and also some gelatin powder. Optional, but I just like to add that as well as an egg. I actually add eggs a lot to my smoothies and shakes. So I have one raw egg. I didn't add that in the first bit of the ingredients, but there you go. There's also a cup of milk and I'm also using half a cup of water. And then I'm just going to mix that up or blend that up. And this is when it starts looking nice and pretty and pink. And oh my gosh, it's so good. So now I'm just going to add about four ice cubes. And this is the finished drink and it is amazing. You absolutely have to try this smoothie out. This is so good. And also optional, the Mexican vanilla. I also, you know, that's in there as well, but it's optional. But that's it for these recipes. I hope you guys liked them. If you guys try these out, let me know because I think these are really, really perfect snacks. They're healthy, they're awesome, and each one has a very different flavor. So definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And yeah, that's it for this one. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you how I make the paleo pesto that you guys might have seen in some of my recent vlogs. Definitely check out my vlog channel if you haven't already because Kyle and I have been doing a whole 30 and later today I'm actually going to post a back to school video with this recipe involved so I wanted to get this video up first but these are the few ingredients you're going to need for this recipe. I just have some salt and pepper, some garlic, also some pine nuts, olive oil and fresh basil. So the first thing you want to do is just take out that fresh basil and separate the leaves from the stems and just add it to a bowl. I'm using about three cups of this fresh basil. 